welcome back in this step we'll take a peek back into history what we'll do is we will try and create an xml context and wire dependencies there so instead of using annotations we'll create an xml context try and wire things there and see how it works out let's get started now what i'll start with is i'll start creating a basic example for us i'd copy the jdbc connection and person do in the scope examples let's call this um, instead of jdbc connection i would want to call this the xml jdbc connection because this is now going to be loaded by xml and also i'll say xml person dao and let's also make the changes so that they use each other i'll remove the annotations i don't want to use annotations at all in this example so i'll go to the person dao remove the add component remove the add auto wired and also we don't want to use the JDBC connection. We want to use the XML JDBC connection. So let's do that. XML JDBC connection, XML JDBC connection. Over here, XML JDBC connection. One of the ways we can do that is actually find and replace, or you can even remove the setters and create them again. Either of them, any of those options would give you the same result. So all that we are doing is instead of JDBC connection, we are using XML JDBC connection. Okay, please go ahead and do that. Now the XML person DAO makes use of the XML JDBC connection. The other thing I would want to do is actually shift it to a different package. So I'll say XML.XML, move it to XML package, please. And also the JDBC, oops, the XML person DAO, I'd want to move it to the XML package as well. Uh, uh, I made a mistake, so it should actually be not scope.xml, it should be .xml. Okay, cool. All that we did was created a very simple example, right? So we have a XML JDBC connection with a constructor as well as a XML person DAO, which has a dependency on XML JDBC connection and a getter and setter for that. That's basically this. So before Spring 2.5, all these kind of things had to be wired in manually through XML. So how does an XML context for that look like? Let's do it right now. So control N, you would need to create a new XML. So XML and XML file. I would call this application context.xml, application context.xml. And over here, we have to specify the complete content of the XML. So one of the things is we need to specify the namespace and specifying the namespaces is a little tricky thing. So what I'll do is I'll go to the Spring documentation and get it. Spring documentation, application context example. Let's just search for it. I'd go to the IOC container thing in here and you'd find this in there. So I'll copy this stuff out. So this is a simple example. So I'll take this and put it in here. In the application context.xml, you can define the beans and their dependencies as well. Two things which we created are XML JDBC connection and XML person DAO. So let's create a couple of beans for each one of them. So right click, copy qualified name. That would fetch us the class for the bean. So I'll put it in here. That's the XML JDBC connection. And I would there's something I don't really like, XML JDBC connection, the fact that it's using a capital. So I let's make it simpler. So I'll rename the class. So XML JDBC connection, this is good. Please rename everything. And over here as well, I'll make it smaller. Okay, so XML, this is much better, much readable, especially when it comes to organizing your code. So here it's changed, so XML JDBC connection, I'd want to just call this XML JDBC connection. Let's go to the person DAO, XML JDBC connection. So the getters and setters are still using the caps XML. So I'll change them to use small XML as well. Okay, that's, that looks cool. We have XML JDBC connection, XML, ML are small, X is caps. So this is cool. So now you have a simple XML where we are defining the beans. Let me format it a little bit so that you can see the complete instance in here. That's cool. And the other class which we want to use is the XML person DAO. So open it, 
up I can copy the qualified name of it and paste it in here as the class name so what we are doing is we are defining beans for each one of this so we are saying XML person DAO that's good so we have XML person DAO with XML JDBC connection now I want to auto wire the XML JDBC connection into the XML person DAO how do I do that how can we auto wire a JDBC connection into a person DAO that by using another tag so you have a tag called property and you can set the name and the ref the name we want to put in is XML JDBC connection and to this I would want to wire in what I would want to wire in the XML JDBC connection in here so to the property called XML JDBC connection in the XML person DAO I would want to auto wire in the bean here so when I'm referring to a bean in here I use something called ref so ref is equal to the slash so XML JDBC connection and now I can put a slash here and this is how I would have my beans organized so that's cool we have now defined a simple application context dot XML however we would need to still create a simple application to be able to load this up we will do that and more in the next step